Hello viewers, MasterCoach89 here. Um, let's see, how do I start this? I've been looking for something to not really inspire me, but motivate me. Something I'm trying to broaden my horizons. You know, I'm I've always loved football. I've always loved games. I work, I come home, I sleep, I play games. I can't I don't play football anymore. You know, I'm getting you know, it's, we're all getting older. My friends, you know, we don't do that. We all got jobs. Lives. But, you know, sitting at home and people collect people have hobbies. And I've been watching a lot of videos lately on YouTube of game pickups, game rooms, collections, and it's kind of intrigued me and made me want to take advantage of the opportunity to take advantage of one of my hobbies of playing games, but not just play the games, collect the games, collect the older systems collect the older games, play the older systems, play the older games to kind of re-inspire me for my gaming because there's just a lot of games out there that you're just like this is a letdown, this is disappointing, you know, they hype it up and it's just like really? but some of the classics, you know, like Super Mario I mean, that still lives on today, you know, people love that game so kinda how I want to start this, well, continue this, is as of right now, I have, you know, the, the Xbox One, the modern system, the Xbox 360, another kind of current system, a PlayStation 3, but, uh, well, let's see here, uh, probably, uh, six, seven months ago, I got an N64. And I wanted to play Pokemon Stadium 2. So I got that. And then my friend gave me Pokemon Stadium. And with the. I bought the. Ex, what's it called? Let's see. I bought the transfer pack. So I could, you know, upload my Pokemon on there and battle, etc. Corny for some people, but Pokemon as classic. You know, it's. It's a great game. You know, you know, you gotta catch them all, and you you get a, you want to win. You want to be the best. So <laughs> corny, but I had it. I had to get into N64 again because that. No, I, I haven't been playing it that much because, like I said, I'm trying to find something to reignite my passion for gaming. But okay, so a long while back ago, well, we got me a PS2. His PS2 because my Xbox 360 was down and I had to ship it out so it could get fixed. So I got a PlayStation 2. I don't really have any games for it right at the moment. I might have like True Crime or something, which was my Wolves 2, but I don't really don't have any games for it. But I'm gonna start collecting for that. I mean, I do have some of the downloads on the PlayStation 3, but I want some physical copies of some games. Now that can get expensive. I could find some probably cheaper on the PlayStation Network. I'm not going to buy something I know I'm not going to want to play. I'm going to buy something I know I'm going to play and I'm going to love. And I don't know if I'm going to get a PlayStation 1 to play the PlayStation 1 games or collect the PlayStation 1, but I'm going to be getting PlayStation 1 games too because I loved a lot of the PlayStation 1 games. I mean, you had, you had Final Fantasy Origins. It had 1 and 2. You had the one that, uh, Anthology, I think it had five or six or four or five I don't remember and then the other one had a uh, Chrono Trigger and uh, another of the Final Fantasy games and I had those and I sold those GameStop I mean really I mean you look at Final Fantasy 7 that game's worth you, you look online that's you you gotta buy it for like 60 bucks almost it's crazy but um another console I had actually I have it's a I didn't actually buy it was the I'll show you guys here.
is the Nintendo Top Loader, which uh, uh, I think apparently got released around the time of the Super Nintendo. I'm not going to look it up online right now, but uh, it got released sometime around the time of Super Nintendo because, you know, it helped it read the games better, etc. And, anyways, my, uh, I brought that, bought that from my friend, uh, Josh Miller, and he said he, I don't remember if he, him and his friend found it in that basement, abandoned basement, or what, I can't remember, but they, they, he was like, i never seen one like this, and he, he already had his own Nintendo, and he was trying to get rid of it, and he offered it to me for like 20 bucks in Metal Gear. I bought it. <laughs> I bought it. One of my friends gave me a Metroid game, but uh, I don't think it worked, if I remember correctly. And I don't. I think actually, yeah, it didn't work. Something was wrong with it. There was some chip or something loose. But uh, so with that, I uh, I don't I don't have any games. So actually today, I went out and. I got Super Mario 2, oh Bros 2, I'm sorry, and Super Mario Bros 3. I could have got the first one too, but I feel like I can get that cheaper on eBay. Um, I got these games at Roman Games, um, very nice retro store, I, I love it. It's Some people will argue they're too, that they're too pricey and stuff, well anywhere you're going to go, you're going to find certain things that are pricey, and it's a Retail, you gotta stay in business. You you gotta you know pay for the labor. You gotta you gotta find a way to make a profit for labor. You know they they clean the games, they repair games. You got you gotta find a way to make profit. And I spent twenty five for the Super Mario two and thirty five for this. You you like you look on eBay, you find it, you find it for like you know. Fifteen dollars, but how much does it actually auction off for? About thirty bucks. So you know, I know it works. I can trust them. Same thing with the Super Mario Two. Two, you know, you find them around nineteen ninety nine, maybe on eBay. How much does it auction for? You don't know. I mean, it's different. It, but that's about what it's going to auction for. It's about twenty twenty five bucks. So once again, you know it works. So why not? And you don't have to worry about shipping costs and etc. I mean, tax, yeah, but whatever. But I got those today. Um, but, and I also got a GameCube. I'm not going to show that. Um, the game I got with it, you get a free game at Roman Games. That's under $15 or $15 under. And I got Star Wars Rogue Leader Rogue Squadron 2. So I got that. Uh, I put, you know, they let you try it out, make sure it works and everything. And of course, I had to buy a memory card for it. But, uh, uh so yeah, my collection has begun. My collecting has begun. There's also something else I want to show you. Um, I played the Nintendo. That was the oldest system I ever played. You know, I played Super Nintendo. I played Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis. Okay. I'm not gonna say it's the oldest system I played because I remember playing some little television thing with some. I don't know. But <laughs> I also recently, just so I have an option to have a lot of games at my disposal, I got the Atari Flashback 6. Hunter Games come with this. And it only cost me 50 bucks. And you can get $40, you know, online and stuff. But I'm gonna, I seen it at Walgreens, which was like five minutes away. I was like, oh, I gotta get it. It's like, I have to. The gamer just stuck me in. I was like, okay, gotta have it. I played it a little bit. It's nice to have her games at my disposal, you know? So, uh, actually, online, I ended up ordering the Sega Genesis Classic. Um, which, I got the one with the Mortal Kombat's. So, it's, I think it's like 80 plus games. Um, I'm waiting for that to come in. I'm actually gonna probably look up where it's at. But... What I'm pretty much getting at is my YouTube channel. You're going to be seeing a lot more of me posting some pickups I find and I buy. Maybe I go to the yard sale or something. I haven't really done yard sales that much. 
that it would actually be something I'd be interested in. Go to yard sales, try to find something and buy it. You know, that's a game that's interests me. Like an NES game. Hey, I would probably save about 30 bucks if I could find one. And there's a lot of people around that don't, you know, they're just trying to get rid of stuff for like 50 cents. You never know. I could get a Tecmo Bowl for 50 cents. Never know. So, Atari Flashback Sex, dude. 100 games. <laughs> I, I know. It's it's not an actual collector's item. And that's not just what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to collect a collector item. I'm trying to expand my library of games. So that's how I'm trying to collect right now. And of course, I think I, there we go. So that's where I'm at with it right now. I'm not just trying to get all these collectors and stuff. I'm trying to expand my library. So I've gotten over 103 games in the last week. Yeah, I got the Atari 6 a little under a week ago. I was like, Atari 6 flashback, I'm sorry. I gotta make sure I say that. Or <laughs> people were like, what? Um, so, yeah, I know I seem awkward. I'm just kind of excited about what I've done, what I'm doing, what I'm, you know, I'm blowing money on something I don't mind to blow money on. It used, you know, I used to blow it all the time. And I sold them and I've lost so much money from doing that. You sell them the game stuff, you sell them the game crazy. It's like, what if I would have kept this? Just after I, before I bought that Nintendo top loader from my friend, my uncle threw away all his Nintendo games. All of them. His Nintendo, his Nintendo games. And he probably had over 60, 70 Nintendo games. Some of them were um, duplicates. But, I mean, yeah, like Final Fantasy. Yeah, it's only made like $30 right now. But, I mean, I could When I seen him do that, I was, I was like, I was asking where his Nintendo was. He was like, he threw it away. And all those games were like, what? I was so upset when I was a kid when I heard that. And the thing is, I got that top loader for 20 bucks when I was like 15 or 16. Maybe, yeah, 16. So with the Metal Gear game, which I mean is only you know like six bucks, you can buy it for six bucks, I think. But I mean, just the thought of all those games being thrown away, and then my uncle again, go, going back to my uncle, he had a crap ton of PlayStation, PlayStation Two games, and people broke into his house, and they're gone. The thought of how much of those games, how many games he had, and how much those would be worth right now, my, my mind is blown. And it's just a passion of mine to have the games, to have the library. And I want to start doing that. I want to expand my library. I, you know, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, I got digital games on there. But. I don't want to collect for those because it's current. So you know, get an X original Xbox. Get the Halo one. I got the remastered edition. So what? Get the Halo one. Get the Halo two. Get the Star Wars: The Old Republic. I want that. And the second one, I want that. Will I play it? A little bit, yeah. I'm sure I'll. You know. Like I said, I want to reignite my my passion for gaming, and by expanding my library, I'll do that. So, I know this seems like a boring, corny episode. Beard's a little shaggy, you know. I might be turning that up by the next one, but next time I see you, I might have a new system. I surely have a couple new games. I won't do game pickups on Xbox One or Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 because I think, you know, nobody's interested in that right now. I mean, that's still kind of in the present. But say I get Super Smash Bros. Melee for GameCube, people will be interested in that. That is one of the greatest games on the GameCube. And it covered such a wide array of. 
people. I love that game. That's part of the reason why I got the GameCube. So I can play it when I find it and I get it. Roman Games sadly didn't have it. And, you know, it's one of those games where they get it, it sells. You know, so. But, I appreciate for you guys tuning in and everything. Um, next episode, I don't know when it will be. I'm hoping this Genesis 6 classic i mean it's genesis classic we'll get here soon and i'll kind of maybe do a review on that because i'm excited about that i mean over 80 games mortal combats sonic you know those are classics i used to play sonic when i went over my dad's with my step step siblings and i loved it i mean same thing with mortal combat we'd all play it uh, I don't know. I would go to my mom's friends for the Super Nintendo and play different games on that. That was fun. I want to start a, you know, get one of those. I'm actually thinking about getting Retron 5, so I don't. There was not so much wear and tear on my whole system like my Nintendo, my top loader, and stuff like that. You know, I got. Oh yeah, I got Game Boy Advance, which is half broken. You know what? I'm actually going to show you guys that because I'm very happy to have these. Alright, so when I got the when I got the N64, I knew I had some of my old games. You know, my old Game Boy color games. I have Pokemon Yellow. Which this first one I found. And then I went on eBay and got Pokemon Blue for I think it was like twenty bucks, maybe fifteen, I don't remember how much I got for. You know, pretty good deal. I think it mainly sells for like thirty five. Somewhere in there. Gold. Which I think the battery chip might be dead on it for the way it's acting with some of the saves. I can't really remember. And then my baby, which I looked up how on eBay just a few minutes ago. I think I said it's selling for like eight dollars. Pokemon Crystal. So they're those are very valuable. And I'm excited that I actually held on to these. I had a guy at the drive. I used to work for a drive-thru for like a week or something. He was offering me to buy them off of me if I had them. Because they were getting harder and harder to find. I'm so happy I didn't let them go. I ended up trading for a few of them to my friend. I'm really upset with myself. I think it was red. Maybe silver. I couldn't believe I let those go. But I have the most valuable. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty cool. Um... I know I have one of the advanced ones around somewhere. I can't. I was trying to actually find it. I couldn't find it. I think it might be leaf green, which is kind of you know just almost as valuable as I think blue. But yeah, I was so happy to just get started on collecting and expanding my library because there's so many great games out there that I never actually played because it's like you know I don't I don't have time or. I'm a kid, you know, I'm doing this and that. Now, it's work. Come home. I have a lot of top of my hands, you know? So, I'll go out. I'll have fun. But, this is one of my hobbies. So, why not 
click for it. But anyways, I am babbling. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just. I'm happy to talk about it and find something to just have a passion for, you know? So, thanks for tuning in, guys.